The Parliament's Public Accounts Committee has almost put the Permanent Secretary to the Minister of Finance on oath for making inconsistent statements about the budget processing. The committee chair by Muhammad Mwanga Chivumbi, the MP for Tambara County, found that during the preparation of the budget for the past five years, the Finance Ministry has been putting Parliament on notice to pass hundreds of thousands of shillings. According to Chivumbi, in the 2022-2023 fiscal year, the Finance Ministry gave Parliament a budget of 52 trillion shillings, but they found that less than 45 trillion was spent and the expected tax was not collected. That's why we called it this, so that accountability reports are not necessarily post-mortem, waiting for, for Treasury memoranda, but they should inform the process of approving a budget. And that's what will give value and essence to the money the public spends on the office of the Auditor General. The Ministry was found to have collected 48.136 trillion shillings in taxes, but to the MP's surprise, the report showed that they spent 52.548 trillion shillings. The Ministry of Finance, led by its permanent secretary, Ramadan Kovi, was summoned to the committee to respond to the report by the Attorney General. Gobi told MPs not to blame him, but to blame themselves because sometimes Parliament is stronger than them. But over time we use the historical data to inform the current and the future. But sometimes you, the policy makers, were very powerful on us. Chair. He also advised that before passing any money, they should first give the financial experts the opportunity to conduct a thorough investigation and then submit a report to Parliament on which it is best. Please allow the people who have the research, who have the ability to analyze numbers and give them to you as policy makers to inform the budget. Uh, and when we seek concurrence with the policy makers, please give us that support to implement a budget which is practical, to implement a budget which is going to deliver what we intend on the... Because you see, a budget is estimates. I mean, it's the analysis of the report. MPs found that there were funds released to some of the agencies that allegedly were the government, but they had no plans to pay them. However, Gobi said that the debt stood at 89.66 trillion shillings, while the Attorney General's report showed 97.499 trillion. You agree with me? We don't that suppress. suppression. No, cut all attribute. You don't repurpose. You don't suppress. Where do you get the money? We create flexibility. No, <laughs> Mr. Chairman. <laughs> so, 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 because you see, because you see, honourable colleagues, let's go through on this. Because he was not clear with every question, Chiwombi became angry and told him that although they were in the heart, they had decided to put him on oath, but his colleagues on the committee stopped him.